What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. When I was in New York at Sweet Sweet, I saw this really cute pottery studio that I have to check out. And I found it on Amazon for $29.99. It is the Make It Real Mini Pottery Studio. So I know that Make It Mini Lifestyle is out. However, I have not been able to find it in my area. So I was thinking we could make some household items by using this kit, like vases and potted plants. It says mess-free, air-dry clay, beginner to master in 10 projects, USB powered, beginner, fully guided, use template for great results on the first try, okay. Maker, more advanced, use without template and customize your creations, master. Freestyle without the dome, enjoy limitless creativity. Everything stores inside and we get all this stuff here. Let's take everything out of the box. We have one mechanical unit. It's attached to the storage base and that's where we'll find the cord. This is the mess free dome, four pieces centering tool, a paintbrush, foam pad sheet, three template guides, a double sided carving tool, a sponge, removable rotating wheel, bag of white clay, one axle, four tool tips, three colors of paint, and a plastic sheet. There's an instruction booklet that shows us the different projects we can do at the different levels and help us get started. First, place the pads on the bottom of the storage base. Use the sponge to wipe the wheel with water. Yeah, that's what that's saying, right? Place these things on the side. This one on top. Curl the piece of plastic. Place it inside. It comes with air dry clay, but I want to see if I can use my Crayola air dry clay. Take small amounts of clay and place it inside the container, pushing it down and trying to fill in any gaps. Add more clay. Now we can place this piece on top, put the axle inside. I put this thing together and plug it in. Remove all of these little plastic pieces. Remove the sheet of plastic, place it on the machine, pick out a template. I'm gonna try this one. Connect it to the dome. Let's move into our Encanto kitchen because this was the last time we attempted to make pottery. Place the dome on top, making sure the metal pole goes through the axle. We're gonna use this tool to follow the template by letting this little notch here ride along the edge. Let's turn it on. Now, this allows you to go two different directions, depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed. Place the tool into the opening, try to keep it horizontal, and slowly begin carving. Just following the template. Oh, wow. It's actually working. Look at, oh no. Okay, not too much pressure. Not too much pressure. But there we go. Wow. Okay, now we just have to remove all the stuff at the bottom. Carefully. <laughs> Let's use the other side to remove the stuff at the bottom. Come on. There we go. I am not graceful at all. But it worked. Now we just have to make a little indent. Oops. At the top. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get there. There we go. There, oh, oh, oh. All right, well, we got it. We got it. Let's turn it off for a second to see how we did. Not too bad. Remove the template. Let's turn it back on and then use a sponge to smooth it out. Or at least attempt to. There we go. We're just gonna smooth out our little pottery. 
and hopefully not change the shape too much. Then let's remove the top carefully. Remove the axle without destroying the pottery. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. We got it. The instructions say to use this piece of plastic to remove it from the wheel. However, I'm going to use a little dental floss because that's what I saw someone do on YouTube. And we're just going to try to remove it. Yay. I placed it on a little drying rack I made out of toothpicks. And now we just have to wait overnight for it to dry. Is this mess free? Um, I don't know. Well, the dome does stop the clay from, you know, splattering everywhere, but there's still a little bit of mess involved. So you definitely want to use this on a protected surface and manage cleanup. And let me be honest, that was my fourth attempt. And you can see I only have two standing. So there is a little bit of a learning curve. And I just saw that it's at Target for $24.99. I could have saved $5. But on the plus side, I'm feeling pretty confident now. And I am ready to try it without the template. But I am going to hold the top to help keep it stable. If I let go, things get a little wobbly. All right, now let's just do this. It is a lot more difficult to stay straight or even without the template, but we're going to try. Yep, this isn't going so well. Okay, so it's definitely more challenging without the template. I've removed quite a bit of clay and I'm going to try to use the edge of the opening to stabilize the tool. So I'm pushing the tool next to the wall and we're flattening out the top. Then let's try to move out and down a little and try to stay even as we go down. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of practice. We are starting to get some kind of shape. I kind of like this. Don't forget to hollow out the top. Oops. Oh boy. Be gentle. Then use a damp sponge to try and smooth it out. I had to start all over because I completely collapsed it, but I think it looks better now. And we can carefully try to remove it and place it in our drying area. I've been practicing for about a day now and I am totally improving. Plates are a little more challenging than I thought, but I think I have vases down. I could even make them without the axle. Drying time is taking longer than overnight, but that could be because I'm using a different clay than the one that came with the kit. And I find shorter vases that are wide at the bottom are just a little easier for me to do, which is perfect for me because I am all about the miniatures. Day one, not dried. Day two, still not dried. Day three, still waiting. Day four, day five, day six. And now it's dry. Keep in mind, I did use my own clay. I did not use the clay that it came with. So the longer drying time is completely my fault. Plus some of my pottery is kind of thick. So that's gonna mess with the drying time as well. But it already looks so much neater than the pottery I made in this room before. Although I am pretty proud of this plate. I do have a few rough edges, so I'm going to try to sand them. This does create a dust, so make sure you protect yourself. Once everything has been sanded, let's start painting. I'm using acrylic paint and I'm just going to paint this one pink because why not? All right, not too bad. What about a little pink and white? checker pattern all over the whole plate. 
This is definitely a what to do when you're bored kind of thing because it took forever. But I think it's kind of fun. I'm going to use this Mod Podge to seal it. It's the Dishwasher Safe Gloss Mod Podge. On the back, it says it's water-based, non-toxic, dries hard, and no tack. Dry one to two hours, cure 28 days. I've never tried this one before, so let's see how it goes. I'm just applying a thin coat over the dried paint and allow it to dry. While waiting, let's work on another one. I have this little pot right here or vase and I'm gonna cut off the top, then sand it and I can carve out the center, which means I can carefully carve into the side of the vase as well. I'm just using my dotting tool to carefully make some little indentions. I do have to be careful because it can break. I totally knocked off a whole side of my vase here, but hopefully we can just cover it with some greenery later. Then let's paint it, then add a little dot of a darker pink in the center of each indent. Let it dry, then dry brush it with that same darker pink and seal it with the Mod Podge. Let's add a few artificial flowers. I just glued them in with a couple of leaves to make a strawberry vase. I've seen these on Pinterest. I love them. I want one in real life, but now I have one in miniature. Okay, okay, let's make one that's not pink. How about a spicy mustard yellow? Maybe it's more of a golden brown, but it's not pink. And for this one, I added a little white to the paint. Let's add a flower. Maybe we can add a slightly brighter yellow to finish the group. What about a light aqua color? Baby blue and some squiggly lines with a few dots to make a blue grouping. Now we have a pink group, a yellow group, and a blue group. We are totally making our own Make It Mini lifestyle minis. And I saw that they have a little vase that looks similar to this one. And there was a little cat vase next to it. I'm going to use this vase that I made and painted white. Then I drew a little cat face on it with a pencil. Then I go over it with a little black paint to make it pop, seal it, and allow it to dry. I found some plants at Pop Shelf and Michael's to go inside the pots. These little decorative picks can come with a variety of different plants that we can use. And I found these at Michael's. I just clip off a little piece and hot glue it into the pot. Ah, uh, this is cute. I glued a longer leaf into the pink vase to make our own Make It Mini Lifestyle inspired minis. And we've made little succulents out of hot glue in the past in our 14 Quick Crafts video, which can totally be useful if you don't have mini plants on hand. We go through the step-by-step -step process and everything. That video is from three years ago, so I'll put the link in the description box below. This is a leftover piece of pottery that we cut off of our strawberry vase. Let's sand it, paint it. I remove our hot glue succulent from the paper pot. Then we can glue our hot glue plant inside. I add a little tacky glue, then a little sand, allowing us to add a little something extra. And we got to use all the pottery that we made. Make It Mini Lifestyle has candles. One of my favorite ways to make candles is with a hot glue stick and thread. I take black thread and add a little tacky glue. While waiting for it to dry, cut the glue stick into smaller pieces. I use my hot glue gun to melt a little hole in the center, glue in the string, and trim it to make easy candles. Adding another element to our minis. And I have an idea for making a bubble candle using aqua beads. You can find them at Target in a little kit. 
and they're just little beads that when you add water to them, they stick together. I line up three beads, then I use a little bit of water to stick them together. Make more, give them a few minutes to dry, then glue three rows together. And we have a three by three square. Make two more, so we have a total of three, then stack and glue them together with water. Glue a little piece of string on top, then trim it to make the candle. Combine it with a few of the other minis and it's a look. I think my new pottery is definitely an improvement over my older pottery and I totally plan on making more. And I just found MGA's Miniverse Make It Mini Lifestyle Capsules. They were at Target for $9.99 but we will have to save this for another video. Thank you for joining us while we checked out the Make It Real Mini Pottery Studio and made our own Make It Mini Lifestyle inspired miniatures. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.